It's really common in those cold, dark, and winter months that people store their LiPo batteries away for use on a brighter day. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some tips to look, at, look for or look at when you're pulling your batteries out of storage to use for the new season. So the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna go pull our batteries out of storage and hopefully they were stored in a cool, dark, and dry place in some sort of firebox. So we're gonna open up the box, pull out our batteries, and inspect them to ensure that they are not puffed. Now, if the battery is puffed, you're gonna to wanna to safely dispose of that battery. LiPo batteries can puff for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes the battery may have been stored fully charged, maybe it was stored fully dead, um, and like any other electrical device, um, LiPo batteries can sometimes just fail. Once we've ensured the battery isn't puffed, we can proceed on to the next step, which is just to fully visually inspect the battery. So inspect the case for cracks, uh, look at the wire leads, check out the connector on the end, and then look inside the connector bullet holes for corrosion. That copper should be nice and coppery, or, or if it's gold, whatever it is, it should not have any corrosion. Also inspect the balance lead. Look at the balance wires, the connector on the end. If it's just a balance port on the battery, make sure that the, the balance port looks good and those contacts aren't bent. Once we visually inspected the outside of the battery, we want to visually inspect the inside of the battery. So we're gonna take a cell checker and connect it to the balance port on the battery. Now we wanna check two things with the cell checker. We wanna ensure that the cell voltages of the individual cells are fairly balanced and in line with each other. 0 0.02 volts. Uh, that spread is acceptable and should be all right. The second thing we want to ensure on the cell checker is that none of the cells are below the minimum voltage needed to charge on a LiPo balance charger. Now that voltage can vary depending on the charger, but it's usually somewhere about three volts. Of course, if any cell is below that range, you will not be able to charge it on the LiPo mode of your charger. Now, once you've ensured that the cell balance looks good, you're free to charge the pack. The only recommendation in this area that we make is that the battery be charged on a nice and easy one uh, C charge rate. Um, after that, then do whatever is normal. Manufacturers have all sorts of different charge rate recommendations and people for different needs charge at different rates, which is fine. It's just good for that first charge being a nice and easy 1C charge rate. But what if you plugged your battery into the cell checker and the cell balance didn't look so good? There's a couple of things you can do. Uh, one, this is the Spectrum XBC100 cell checker. It also has a cell balance function, so you can just plug your LiPo right into this and it will it will slowly balance out the cells. It's a patient process. It takes some time. You can also just put your LiPo battery on the charger and do a cycle charge. So balance charge the battery again at that nice and easy 1C charge rate and let it slowly balance out those cells. Now if the spread of how much the cells are imbalanced, if it's a lot, the charger is gonna need more time to slowly balance those cells. And in some cases, the charger may not be able to do it in that one process. The charger may time out. If the charger times out, you'll have to repeat the process. So if it times out, discharge the battery, put it back on the balance charger and let it do again and just repeat this process until you get those cells balanced. It's quintessential that the LiPo cells are balanced. This process takes some time, it takes some patience, but it can be done. And once it is finally complete, that battery pack will have freshly balanced cells and it'll be ready for the season and beyond. So to recap really quick, when pulling your batteries out of storage, inspect the pack, make sure they're not puffed, make sure the wires and the connectors look good and there's no corrosion on the metal connectors. Then check the cell voltages of the battery. We wanna make sure that the balanced, or that the 
battery is balanced. It's so important. The battery cell vol voltages must be balanced. And then lastly, that very first charge on the battery after storage, we want to make sure it's a nice and easy 1C charge rate. If you guys would like more information on LiPo care, handling, storage, or how to safely dispose of a LiPo battery, I'm gonna put a link down below to the Protec RC LiPo Battery Manual. It's, uh, it's got great information that pertains to LiPo batteries in general, so it's definitely worth reading and checking up on. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please leave us a question or comment down below, and if you'd like more info, we'll have some links down there for you as well. I'm Brett with A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.